Welcome to Tech Brothers Dhamira. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between pipeline parameter and variable in Azure Data Factory? So the parameters are the uh, uh, objects that you will create in your pipeline and uh, they will be used for configuration. You will not be able to change the value of those parameters during the execution of the pipeline. Actually, you will be changing their value at start of the uh, pipeline execution. So think about the parameter like a configurable um, param values that you can provide to your uh, pipeline before this start executing. Uh, so in SSIS we have those uh, configuration where we can provide like database name in dev environment and prod and QA and all those kind of thing uh, uh, where we have a project level parameters you know by using those uh, we can uh, then use those parameter in connection strings uh, here in Azure Data Factory it is the concept is same you will create those uh, pipeline parameters uh, and you can provide the value or change the value before you execute the pipeline uh, so let's say you have uh, created this pipeline and uh, you will uh, uh, create a, a table name or DB name here uh, let's say table name and uh, I am going to use uh, say this is sale table uh, underscore dev. Now, when I run for the dev, this is fine. But when I run for a, a QA or prod, I want to change the underscore QA or underscore prod. So how I will do that? Because I don't want to make uh, three copies of my pipeline. I want to have only one copy and then use that. So let's uh, think uh, here is my copy activity and I want to use uh, this uh, uh, parameter. So in this, uh, let's say we are reading the data from source and uh, where uh, our data or table is uh, ex Azure SQL and uh, right here, I'm going to create a link service uh, real quick for you so you can see. Here we are going to go new and then uh, we are going to select subscription and then we are going to select the server name. Also, we are going to select database name uh, and then provide the username db user and password also if you notice that uh, the uh, link services uh, can have a parameter as well uh, that will help uh, because if uh, you have created this link service on a dev uh, data factory uh, maybe you, your database name is different uh, or server name is different um, when you deploy this uh, to the prod or QA you want to change the database name and especially server name will be always different uh, between the dev QA and UAT and prod uh, so you will be changing that so you can add parameters here as well um, so parameters are where you will be using mostly in uh, link services and data sets uh, and uh, you know, to change the configuration uh, of your link service or data sets uh, and uh, uh, that's how it's going to work. Um, now I have created this link service uh, and here I need to read the data from some table. Now I'm going to go here, right here. I don't have any table in this uh, server. That's fine. I can go just click edit here and I can provide uh, any table name. So I think about that uh, right now I'm saying uh, uh, no table at all okay uh, so that's fine just hit uh, none and now we have created the the data set that you see right here that's reading the information from our source uh, database uh, and we don't have any table there so I'm gonna click right there go to open I'm gonna make this a source uh, with the parameters um, so see right there there's a parameter tab on the data set and I'm gonna click right there and add um, so I'm going to call it a DS uh, table name and the value I'm gonna just uh, leave test or you know you can leave whatever you want uh, now when you come back to the pipeline uh, you're gonna see right there the pa that uh, data set uh, table uh, the parameter appeared uh, now in the values uh, you're gonna go right there and uh, then select uh, the parameter you create on the pipeline level so that was a table name uh, if you as remember so select that and hit OK so now you see that uh, if I deploy this uh, um, or run this even a pipeline here, let's me if I will say debug. Uh, if you notice here, um, okay, it is a uh, sync it is required. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, uh, build something for sync. I'm gonna use the same, and uh, okay, that's fine. Let's see if I can run it now. Here, uh, if you see, whenever I execute, it is asking me, hey, what is the table name you want to provide? Um, so you see that before running the pipeline, it always asks me. Now, if I need to read the data from uh, other uh, tables, such as uh, underscore test, I can simply say sale table underscore test and hit OK. And it's going to execute for me. Now, if once uh, I deploy to the prod, and uh, I can always go and change it here and say sale table underscore prod. 
okay so by using parameter it, the pipeline become more dynamic in terms of configuration so you can change a object name database name and server name by using parameters okay now let's cancel this out and uh, also uh, you don't have to run every time from the debug right in a QA you will be adding trigger and UAT you will be adding trigger so let's go to the trigger and add new trigger here you will see that uh, once uh, we add trigger um, it's uh, going to ask you a few things um, it's going to ask you what is the parameter value you would like to use when I run this pipeline by using trigger so in this case uh, maybe sale table underscore prod if I'm running on prod so once I deploy my pipeline to the prod I will add the trigger and then change the parameter value for this uh, uh, table name right here and provide the exact table I have in the prod so parameters really help us uh, to configure our pipeline dynamically instead of uh, we hard code the values and rechange everything our in our pipeline before deploying to the next environment such as QA UAT prod uh, that's all about parameter there would be a lot more but I have a videos on that how to use the parameter in uh, different scenarios uh, now variables uh, uh, there is another tab uh, here variables are the objects uh, that you will uh, create reset their values while you execute the pipeline and uh, then uh, you can um, over uh, reuse them over and over and over uh, whenever you need it uh, so here let's say if I will create uh, I will say uh, variable output uh, Okay, of web activity or something. So in this case, uh, I have these uh, you know, types here, and now this variable is available. Now think about that. Uh, I'm using web activity here. So now I connect with web, and then uh, web activity is returning me some value that I need to save into some uh, variable, and then use later for maybe sending email as a content, as a body or all that. So next, uh, I can use a set variable. So I will go and set variable here right there and you can see I can go to variables select the variable I just created and then uh, I can write the uh, expressions uh, here um, so I will say web1 right here you can see web1 that output whatever the value I want to put from there so I can save the value during the execution in the variables uh, and then use them later if I want to use uh, maybe I want to send uh, uh, mail or um, use this uh, in the next uh, web activity I can simply use it right there and then uh, here in the settings uh, I can go and uh, uh, select the method maybe post uh, and here in the body maybe use the variable uh, I created uh, uh, previously so right there and uh, once I'm done reusing it I want to maybe use another web activity and uh, set to the next value so I can use the same uh, variable um, so during the pipeline execution we can set the value of our variable uh, over and over if we needed uh, and use them at different places whenever we want to so that's the big difference uh, with the parameter you will be using them uh, uh, mostly in the data sets uh, in the link services configuration and all that uh, before you execute your pipeline the values of a parameter cannot be changed during the execution of a pipeline you cannot set them uh, uh, but variables uh, they can be you know, set the values during the execution they are temporary container for you you will use them and then uh, um, you know you want to update the value with the new uh, values you can use set variable uh, activity set them and then again use them whenever you need it thank you very much i hope this video will help to answer this question and explain all the details i will always tell you explain the scenarios to the in the interview that help the to show in-depth knowledge you have and that's how you get the job thank you very much please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video